Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, today, this is going to be a uh, moto vlog about not about riding, but about changing the tire tube in the front of this uh, motorcycle. I've been getting a couple of pinches, and I have a couple of patches that I did on the side of the trail. And uh, this one has three patches, and usually when I have three patches on my tire tube, I'm about done. That tire tube has to come out. It's just too many unknowns. How to replace this tire tube? I'm going to put a heavy duty tube in it, and uh, I'm going to show you how, how, how I do it. It's a little bit different, um, but this is how I like to do it. Um, I've been doing it for, for a while. I've learned how to replace my own tire, and it saves me tons of money. Uh, because, you know, if you take it in and, and it costs you $10, $15 to replace the tire every time it happened, I think I've done it 40 times on this bike, so it's a lot of money that I actually saved. I anchor the rear of the motorcycle, therefore I can lift the front. So I have a jack over here, and then I just put it under the bike and just lift the front of the motorcycle, so I can put it on the front. As I said, I like to do it on the trailer, because it's, the motorcycle is secure sitting over there, and it's much easier for me to work on it. Every time I replace a tire, I always try to use the tools that I carry with me. This is a uh, pack that I always have around me and I have all the tools that I need in case of emergency if I'm assigned the trail. Why I do this is because this is extremely important. Why I use these tools when I'm actually at home is extremely important. Is because if I use them, I'm sure that I have all the tools that I need when I'm on the side of the trail. Yes, in this garage I have all the tools that I need, right? But on the side of the trail, Sometimes you fill up a box like this uh, and you think that you have all the things that you need but you don't know until you actually need them. So I always try to use only the things that I have in this uh, 20 pack. Also it makes me much faster when I'm on the side of the trail because I already know where my tools are. The only thing that I do different is I use a compressor to inflate the tire instead of the pump that I carry over here which I know it works, I test it all the time but I'm not going to waste my time with a hand pump in my garage. As you can see I have a multi-tool, I have my pump, I have a couple of tire irons, uh, and I have a 10 millimeter uh, wrench that I'm going to use to take the wheel off. So, as I said, I always use this. Also, I use it as a base for putting my valve and putting my uh, all the things that I need so I don't lose the things on the trail. So I always try to get used to putting everything in this little thing so when I, I am working on the trail, I have all the things that I need in there so I don't you know, lose them in the rocks and basically without a valve you're pretty much done. This has to come off so I'm going to take this one off. I'm not going to carry my helmet camera with me anymore. Uh, it was very very distracting and I'm trying to get a little bit more riding and a little bit less uh, being concerned about cleaning the lands and other things like those. On well, my last video that I posted, my last motor vlog, which I had a lot of responses from, from very, very nice people like, like you that you're watching these videos, everybody said, don't quit writing, man, don't quit posting. I'm not going to quit writing, I'm not going to quit posting, I'm just not going to leave the camera every ride that I go, only if it's a very, very special place. Uh, so thank you very much for the support. It's, uh, it's very appreciated. There it is. So this rod comes up, I put it back into my... Pack, and uh, the wheel is off. At this point, I use one of these tire irons to split the brake pads a little bit. Why? Is because I will have to put the tire back on, so I need the disc brake to fit in really, really easy. First things first, the valve has to come off. I always carry this cap that has a valve remover. Very important. Why? It's because if you don't have this, you can't take your valve off on the side of the trail. So I always carry this one with me. There it is. Valve came off. I put it into my fanny pack. By the way, you buy that one for about $20, uh, $25 on Amazon. Very useful to keep all your tools together. And it's very, very easy to get to your tools when you need them. Instead of a backpack or somewhere on the motorcycle. Uh, almost unnoticeable after you get used to it. So it's a great investment. Check out the, the link for the product, I'm going to post it into the description of the video. If you want to buy one, it's, a, it's the one that I have and I got it for a great deal. Like free shipping from Amazon, it was great, an absolute great deal. So, this washer comes off, this nut comes off. And then I'm going to take my rim lock, still number 12. So I'm going to loosen up the rim lock, but just loosen it, not take it off completely. So, the rim lock 
if you don't know, it's very, very important because it keeps your valve safe so your valve uh, doesn't come off your um, tube. I always use the water and soap to spray on my tire because it will make it much easier to take it off. So it's, it makes it a lot more slippery. Very, very cheap, doesn't cost you anything. So just have that one ready. And again, my tire irons. And first, what you do, rim lock is towards me. I start on the opposite side, but not 90, just 45 degrees, right? So I push the tire in like we're working it. So the tire is pushed in over here. So it's off the rim, right? Once it comes off the rim, I use this slim tire iron to just grab the tube, the tire, and just take it out. And I'm gonna hold it with this one. It's a little bit thicker, so it's not that easy to work with. And then I'm gonna work my way around it. So, there it is. And this, uh, this tire is off. Very, very easy. Just go around it. Easy, don't, don't pinch it, don't break it. Okay? So, I always start opposite from the valve. So, I put my fingers under and I grab the tire tube and I pull it out. So, it comes off. And again, make sure you don't break your valve. This is the, the bad one, but I'm going to use it as a backup. You can keep it as a backup, so make sure you don't break it completely. So. So this is my new tube. Uh, it's a tube that I actually recently fixed. Uh, to do so, I always like to get it nice and slippery, so I can work with it. Some people like to put air in them, I don't. Uh, valve goes first, so valve always goes first. So I'm going to lift this part over here. I'm going to put the valve in and I work opposite from me so I could put my fingers aside and grab that valve. If you have a valve, uh, one of those like valve wires, it makes it a lot, a lot easier, but I've learned how to do this this way, so it's not mandatory. But if you have one, it will make your life a lot easier. There it is, you gotta push it in. It's almost there. Okay, so this is in. I'm gonna take my washer. I'm gonna put it just at the tip of the valve so it keeps it in place so it doesn't come out. This will go nicely back in over the rim lock. Very nice. Again, make sure your valve is sticking out right. Sometimes you have to spin the tire a little bit just to get the valve exactly perpendicular to the uh, to the tire, so you don't want that valve to come off. That's why I broke the first time. Um, you always start from the rim lock, okay? So I'm getting two of my tire irons, put it left and right of the rim lock, and just slide this thing in, and then the rim lock will just grab this tire and. You always, you always start from the rim lock. Uh, on the rear tire you have two rim locks, on the front you only have one. So, I feel like a ninja right now with the two tire irons. Around it slowly. Sometimes to help myself I put a foot on it so it just keeps it in place. And then slowly work my way around, make sure you don't pinch the tube in the process. So, that's very important. Make sure you don't pinch the tube in the process. There it is. One more. And the last one. It's gonna snap right in there. There it is. Very, very easy to put a tire on. I know why people are so afraid and sometimes they make it more difficult than it's really worth. At this point, I'm screwing in my valve, okay, so my valve is in, usually I go about 30 psi just to make sure it settles properly, so it's 30 psi right now, because it was wet, very very easy to, to settle back into the tire, I always check on both sides, 
I already spread out the brick pads. Tires goes back in. Okay, so now it's lined up. Very nice lined up. The disc is into the speedometer. Now I'm ready to put my rod through. So this rod goes through. I would like to put this not on the other side so it brings the wheel together. And these on this side are done. Don't super tight them. Just a little bit, hand tight. And now just give it a nice nudge. You see I'm not holding the tire lever at the end. I'm just holding it over here. I don't strip anything. So a nice nudge. And you're good to go. Uh, one thing that I always like to do, spin the wheel and make sure I apply the brake a couple of times. So it pumps the, the disc brakes back on, so it doesn't. Um, I don't start riding it and, and crash because I forgot to pump my brake back on. But this tire is good to go. I'm going to check the pressure. Usually I run about 25, but this is going to be before the ride, so at this point I'm not going to be concerned with it.